So hello, very good morning and uh, welcome to the 56th edition of Trends Talks. Today we have uh, Mr. Jigar Parekh, who is uh, having professional experience in various fields, uh, be it IT, media, marketing, sales, and uh, he has actually uh, ventured into his own entrepreneurship uh, by taking an initiative and uh, launching a few products. Today is going to talk about uh, a taboo subject of menstruation and uh, how he is uh, uh, the finding the reason to start it, the need for it, and why men are actually not allowed to talk on the subject. So he has taken it up on himself when he trains people on the same subject. So let me hand it over to him so that he can present his brief. Hello. Yeah, you, you may start the presentation. So good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you, Mr. Krishna Rajayar, for giving uh, this opportunity and uh, to talk about this. As we have been uh, started with this initiative some time back, uh, I mean, I guess around uh, three to four months uh, from now. See, basically, we started uh, manufacturing, we were into manufacturing of uh, silicon rubber products. It's been now uh, more than a decade now. So there is a lot of uh, say eco-friendly uh, menstrual products made from uh, medical grade silicon in the market now so being a manufacturer of silicon we developed such products first initially and over a period of time what we started seeing the after the pandemic when people were sitting at home and got more savvy with the digital media and a lot of marketing and digital things were happening so there was a lot of acceptance what we saw of these products and which is a good, in fact, a good initiative in terms of uh, helping the nature also and uh, reusable products. You can say it's an eco-friendly product. So we thought of marketing the same in a larger platform. But the minute we started and we thought of like, you know, let's get into the market with our own brand called Live Fresh as a brand and uh, marketed the products. We saw there is a lot of competition and a lot of also other uh, brands are there in the market selling these uh, same products. So when we started this marketing, we observed as there are so many brands and again, there is a small clutter getting, uh, you know, confusing the people about the products and, you know, there's a lot of brands in terms of quality, in terms of pricing, in terms of, but uh, the level of acceptance, the level of awareness, which actually there should, I mean, it should be there, which was not there among the females. So we tried connecting with a lot of uh, government departments asking them that uh, would they be able to help us or would they be able to support us in a way where we can jointly do something together so <clears throat> when we started doing approaching these people we started also approaching a lot of corporates we started a lot of approaching a lot of ngos so when we approached all these people we came to know the biggest issue is not uh, the the biggest issue is actually uh, awareness and acceptance of this product the first is awareness, then comes is the acceptance. Now, people, if they do not know about these products as of now, how will they go to the acceptance of the product? Secondly, the biggest issue again is acceptance when we say as compared with the disposable sanitary pads. Then doing a lot of research, we concluded that uh, these pads uh, are actually harming the nature also and actually harming the female's health or so cost involved uh, for a menstruation of a female let's let's assume that in the rural market or you know, so it's too high so combining all these aspects and with our research of last around six to eight months in last year we created and we thought and we created a, a initiative we call bleeding is not bad in india it's a basically initiative so what we do in initiative, let's go start with the uh, presentation. This was just a brief. So bleeding is not bad in India. This is a small initiative as a company we started where all the other companies are focusing on selling the product. We are trying to focus first on educating the people about the problems, solving their problems and uh, rather focusing just on selling the product, right? So bleeding is not bad. This is a project uh, to support the menstruation in India for the females. Now, as we know, <clears throat> This is uh, the two around uh, a basic stats which we have derived from a lot of uh, government agencies, online government agencies, where we have figured out what is the level of female population in rural India. 
so around 2.38 crore women in, are there in the rural india this are approximate ballpark figures we are not calculating the exact ones see they need your help in terms of uh, their uh, cost of menstruation is to be taken care by right now government currently is helping them lot of ngos are helping them to provide these females with a disposable sanitary pads which is a recurring cost first thing second this is also a uh uh harming it is also harming the nature and there is lot also harming their health so now going to the next step let's first figure out how do we reach that the figure of 2.38 crore so if we see it's around 181 major cities 29.60 crore is the total population wherein out of that 14.2 is the women's population and that's how we reach step by step to 2.38 crores of women population that is the age group of 10 to 45 a menstruating female like average of 10 years old to 45 in rural india <clears throat> now coming to as i said the cost of menstruation let's have some brief on that what is the cost of current uh, menstruation in india see the average cost of menstruation currently in 181 cities i'm not uh, limiting myself to 181 cities of india of course uh, there are more cities but So let's calculate on uh, the so basic part of it so one pad is equal to 5 rupees this is again an approximate calculation 12 pads is rupees 60 per cycle 12 pads is again an average of uh, one female using around 12 pads in one cycle so one year which cost around 720 rupees is the cost of menstruation currently by for using sanitary pad or sanitary tampon which are disposable so when we talk of uh, again coming back to the figure of 14.20 crore women into multiplied by 720 rupees per year we can see there is a huge cost involved in spending in which is there in spending uh, spend on disposable pads per year in india that is 10230.34 crore the minute we calculate this into 5 years that is 51151 crore so as we you can see in the presentation can we reduce this by 90% now this is a good question i guess you might be uh, looking at so yes we can absolutely there being a question i'll just take you through that see the another problem right now what i see is uh, sanitary waste accumulated in india is uh, again these figures are being taken from the reputed agencies of the government which have published in the media that is around 12.3 billion sanitary napkins amounting to rupees 101 lakh 13000 tons of uh, waste which is reading reaching uh, india's landfills every year so this is the level of pollution what a uh, sanitary napkins are creating because of this we are harming the nature because of this there is lot of other uh, issues are being there a global warming now the question coming back to that is no pollution just a solution how so let's start with mumbai as the first city where we have actually started with this initiative where we have actually conducted uh, some uh, initiative some workshops and some uh, try to help out the people in bombay so the first coming to the figures in bombay <clears throat> mumbai currently the population uh, the pc is around uh, is 2 crore female population is around i can say around 50% that is 1 crore in rural areas that would be around 70 lakh female in the age group coming to the calculation of 42 lakh 25000 now the cost of menstruation how we calculated earlier we will multiply the same figures with the same cost that is 42 lakh 25000 the females which are in the age group of 10 to 45 in the rural bombay and multiplied by 5 rupees per pad into 12 pads per cycle the same calculation into 12 months and into 5 years so currently bombay itself just one city as a cost of menstruation of around 1521 crores so this is the cost of menstruation in bombay which is approximate to reduce this by 90% as i said earlier <clears throat> this is the initiative what we have started it's called live fresh ananda now what is live fresh ananda 
this is an initiative to support csr activities across india this is basically a series of free workshops on menstrual hygiene management and also a little bit of the sanitary waste management now i'll just uh, <clears throat> try to give you some more brief and more insights on live fresh ananda and uh, so switching on to my another presentation about the live fresh ananda and coming back to this so just a minute yeah so we are there so live fresh ananda <clears throat> What is a live fresh ananda? Free workshops on menstrual hygiene management and sanitary waste management. So now we do these workshops at corporates, schools, and government departments. See, it is very very necessary to educate the people. It rather just always focusing on selling the product or even expecting that the people would uh, just self. I mean, you know, go through a video or go through an online technique uh, and through their mobile by seeing some videos or. watching some ads they might uh, accept the menstrual cups or menstrual eco friendly products or they might do reading themselves it is not necessary that every female could accept or adopt by just self uh, learning so the learning is more important by uh, having meeting them in person or teaching them in person <coughs> so let's come uh, go further live fresh ananda is a program basically for females related to training on menstrual hygiene management now focusing on using this eco friendly alternative products during menstruation and a better maintaining the hygiene for the better health now this initiative we always say that it's our extended support to the initiative of menstrual uh, hygiene management initiated by the health and uh, welfare ministry now why there is a need for this workshop as we see uh, india receives approximately 12.3 which we have already seen there the covid lockdown yeah this is a very important point the covid lockdown during that there are millions of girls in schools and women in rural areas who faced a shortage of sanitary pads because there was no transportation allowed the major of the factories were shut down the raw material of the sanitary pads which is it's like the cellulose which is paper pulp are been <clears throat> imported or even in locally found but had a lot of uh, shortage in terms of manufacturing the biggest issue what female faced during the lockdown in rural area was the transportation because of the transportation they were not able to receive the pads with through the government initiative and the support these again uh, coming to the next point sanitary pads have a several uh, health disadvantages for women which are been proved by the as i said international agencies each sanitary pad takes approximately 500 years to decompose now this is huge so and again these are been proved figures and 500 years to 800 years or whatever it's been by the international agencies across the globe total in india there are around 35.5 billion menstruating females now again coming to the population back to the uh, stats out of which approximately only 20% of females uses the sanitary pads due to lack of awareness or affordability so when we talk of affordability we come to the cost again now as we have already seen the stats of the cost in the previous presentation that is the cost of menstruation with the pad with certain figures which we have already seen now to reduce that and through this uh, workshop what do we achieve we achieve to provide a solution to uh, not the pollution and we also save the nature there's a lot of importance of the menstrual hygiene which every female needs to understand to uh, get themselves free from lot of diseases like uh, reproductive rtis and poor menstrual hygiene also there is lot of uh, poisoning gastroenteritis pneumonia tract skin infections are some of the disease caused by the poor hygiene practices so it is very important for a female to maintain the hygiene this program which we conduct is basically a very intense extensive training on the following topics which is more in detail explained to every female attending the workshop 
there's importance of menstrual hygiene why stop using sanitary pads these are uh, highlighted points of course these are every topic has been explained to the female in a very detailed manner also there is a lot of uh, interaction between every female like uh, during the topic why shift to eco friendly alternative that is menstrual cup when we ask this female and they have several questions which are been answered during the workshop for making them easily adopt the new practices so again we share a lot of health benefits of using menstrual cup how do you save the nature also a 98% saving cost on by menstrual cup the cost factor was a very very important uh, topic when we which, uh, which, which was been uh, discussed during the uh, workshops and people would love that again uh, other than oh, not only the health but also the cost is been saved by using local of eco friendly menstrual cup uh, the products and i mean using this how to use menstrual cup now to use a menstrual cup is also a big question so we have five different topics on this what is menstrual cup how to use menstrual cup how to store how to care <clears throat> several other uh, topics on that till now we have been uh, organized uh, or, or yeah, we have already organized uh, certain of these programs like for mumbai police uh, uh, which was be for around 2200 females and uh, these are some of the photographs which i would i'm sharing with you the same was also organized for railway police mumbai for around 250 females and these products were also been distributed free of cost to these females with the support of an ngo and uh, the corporates and stuff this uh, is a program which we had organized for an uh, youth females at uh, kolaba uh, it is an orphanage and this was the program where we was initially this was the first program actually we conducted at a parkside police station at vikroli west and uh, where we conducted this program for around 20 females and they were quite happy with that this gave us a boost and then we started with the larger programs of 250 females now <clears throat> uh, this is a photo of a eco friendly alternative during the menstrual menstruation that is called menstrual cup this is the uh, cup how it looks like and we have a separate uh, complete detail uh, book available on uh, how is the cup and how to use the cup what is the menstruation uh, issues what you can read in that book uh, also there is a lot of things on our website available for details about the cup we also support every of our uh, every uh, ngo or a government department or a, i mean school i mean the basically the beneficiaries with a small certificate of appreciation because they have been agreed to organize such beautiful workshops and allowing us to support the female so it's just a small uh, token of appreciation which we share it with every uh, beneficiaries so this is a, uh, a small example which we had given to on the right side the photo is uh, myself with mrs uh, minakshi rane So, who is the vice principal at uh, Mumbai Marol Training Camp, Mumbai Police Marol Training Camp, uh, where we she uh, supported us very uh, very nicely in organizing this workshop for 225 uh, Mumbai Police females. Now, this workshop we conduct in a two different formats. As I said, we do this workshop for uh, schools, colleges, NGOs, government departments, etc. So, we do this workshops. Of course, as I said, it's absolutely free of cost and um, at <clears throat> corporate ngos and schools and colleges and we also provide lots of discounts in terms of the buying these kind of menstrual hygiene products in during the workshop but the other way around is there is uh, if we also have a donor or you can say there is an ngo who would like to uh, support us with their donation so we can also provide this uh, products free of cost to the beneficiaries wherever or whenever we have received some kind of a donation from the support of a csr budget from a corporate like for example free workshop this is what i mentioned we requirements from your organization what we need actually is place of an event and minimum of 50 attendees to be present in one event now the minute we receive that a letter 
what we offer is to our extensive workshop on menstrual health management and sanitary waste management literatures usage of products importance of hygiene etc and digital format ex, uh, discounts for buying on the menstrual as i discussed so these are the whole <clears throat> details about the workshop till now what we have been conducting uh, for a lot of people in bombay i'll just uh, try to go to the back to the second or the first presentation where we landed so this was the details about live fresh ananda as a, as a an initiative we can call it or as a workshop so we have also recently started uh, with the franchising model of uh, live fresh ananda which i there is a lot of uh, details available on our website this is to help the people across india to reach out the maximum females <clears throat> coming back to the stats now how can we save 90% of the cost so what we have seen earlier over here was mumbai where the cost we had calculated was 1521 crore of menstrual cost in 5 years which mumbai is experiencing right now where we can actually cut down to 169 crore only how so where i come into that is 400 uh, i mean sorry uh, the cost of menstruation for female in the age group the same thing the population 42 like 25000 now i have what i have done is each cup is a reusable for 5 years cost of cup is approximately around 400 average in the market it's not i'm not talking only of our about our branded cup that is live fresh cup we have calculated i have checked out online a lot of different players who are selling the cup the average cost of cup ranges from 250 rupees to 700 rupees so the average cost of each cup you can say is around in between which is 400 rupees one cup minimum it can be reusable or to 5 years depending on the of course lot of different factors are there but it is a reusable up to 5 years now a lot of brands also say that the cups are been reusable up to 10 years and it is also mentioned on their pack so now coming to that figure so my population if we give each cup a female uses a cup the cost of menstruation in bombay which will be only 169 crores this 400 rupees now what we do considering this average cost that is 400 rupees which is over there it's written including training of better menstrual hygiene practice and usage of menstrual cup to all so this 400 being as an average cost how what we do is uh, we have calculated this and now just a minute i'll go back to show you what is the break up of the just for your information the break up and what is the benefit of this 400 rupees this is how we calculate the 400 rupees <clears throat> with your csr budget so now while we were talking with a lot of people in terms of uh, donation or for generating or a support you can say with your csr budget you can support each needy woman at the rupees 400 this is the calculation of 400 where what we do is we do a free workshop we also support of course as a donor or a, uh, as a sponsor or a donor or a csr budget your logo and everything will be there on your branding material your event will be organized at your location across anywhere you say the coverage also be there of your brand on lot of uh, social media we will also have your one uh, live interview on the live fresh our own youtube channel the logistics and food cost explain a trainer which is required for the training the people during the event a uh, one cup a uh, menstrual cup which is 630 rupees is the cost of a menstrual cup which will be given free of cost to all the attendees and a certificate of appreciation now all this put together which uh, including the free menstrual cup worth rupees 630 what we offer is around 400 as a package to ngo or a donor which they can <clears throat> support for female for the period of 5 years so this 400 which has been calculated as a whole package now this is not a one time uh, sorry this is not a recurring cost it is a just a one time cost for supporting a female for the period of 5 years only so now coming back to this point 
Yeah. So this is how we have calculated the cost, which was just 1500 to 169 crores only. Once we do this, the targeting we have, this is what we are targeting in terms of helping the nature. We have the targeting a clean Mumbai with zero sanitary waste. This is again the just showing you the slide. We have executed our success stories till now 2200 women officers of Mumbai Police, 150 women officers of Mumbai Railway Police, 50 of our youth females at orphanage. <clears throat> till late, our supporters, which we had uh, Habitat for Humanity, have always been a good support as an NGO partner and also uh, creating or generating. The donation from their clientels, that is the donors. The Royal Enfield have been the first one to support us for the Mumbai Police project, and uh, there were beneficiaries till date for Mumbai Police, Railway Police, Traffic Police. So it's been three to four months now. <clears throat> we have been organizing such workshops with the support of these people. <clears throat> now, coming to the end, if you are a corporate or if you are an NGO. So I hope you have understood the major part of the whole program, what we do, what we in the benefit. If you are a corporate, you can always support us with the CSR funds. If you are an NGO, we will always support our expert training and eco-friendly products with a lot of discounted price for your NGO, where you can go and create the camp. We can jointly create the camp. We can uh, support you, you during the camp. This is the... In, and this is how basically you can connect with us on uh, all this uh, for partnering with us on all these numbers where we jointly create the success stories together. So this was a basic uh, presentation what I can what I would uh, be, uh, I'm sharing with you which creates a bleeding is not bad as a as a project. We have also initiated uh, a one uh, book which is called uh, i'll just share with you just a uh, cover image of the book then it's there on my website so i'll just try to figure out on this itself on your so this is the first book which is also available on amazon and flipkart yeah this is the book it's called bleeding is not bad for india another the book as i said is uh, meant and created for the people to understand about the whole system, helping the system, helping the nature, helping their health with eco-friendly products initially, why it, everything is more important and necessary. And it also contains certain topics in terms of usage of these eco-friendly products that is menstrual cups. So how to use this, how to care about this, how to, how to prepare for this while using it, even if you are using it for the first time, how to adopt this practices. Everything is mentioned is a book. It's a very small book. So even if the people who are not very friendly with reading, I guess you would surely enjoy for a, even written in a very layman language or a very basic English. You don't need any expertise to understand uh, the details about the book. Uh, that's all. I mean, that's what all was, uh, Mr. Ayer, uh, I can say about uh, mensuration and what all the initiative projects and whatever we have done till now, as of now. So, Mr. Parekh, I think you have done a wonderful job in uh, trying to bridge this knowledge gap and uh, look at environment. So, what actually triggered this in the first place? Was there any incident that triggered this to think in this fashion yes. that you have to start something? Correct. See, as I said in the starting, the biggest trigger point for us to start this initiative see, uh, was the... We, when we started, as I said, I'm manufacturing these products and uh, started selling these products online, like other people and a lot of other brands were doing. And also, we tried to put place these products, our products, in a regular local medical shops in Bombay, local general stores in Bombay, where exactly the next to uh, to sanitary pads, where people uh, normally a female would go and buy the product. We tried and tested this for two months initially. But there was zero response. There was not a single product which was uh, I was able to sell in the shop or in a medical store also. So a lot of efforts were made for selling the product, but there was no response we were getting. There. So we started researching why there is no sale, even if people know about it or whatever it is. 
so that's where we started researching and we actually landed after a three months extensive research by talking with people by talking with government uh, organizations by talking with uh, ministries by talking with a uh, lot of other branded uh, product users so everywhere after doing a research we realized <clears throat> the biggest problem as i said is not selling the product actually the products are not being sold because there is no acceptance people used to say then we figured out when we talk of acceptance the acceptance is only happen i mean can happen only if there is an awareness so going backward integration we figured out that there is no awareness of the product then there won't be any acceptance of the product when there is no acceptance of the product there won't people would not buy india being a huge population the first and foremost thing is required is the awareness so this triggered us let's not focus on selling the product but let's focus on educating the people create the awareness helping the people first rather focusing on selling the product right so how do you see you know you have done these pilots uh, initially you targeted the police the railway police and all that how how do you see them receiving this what, what has been their initial reaction <laughs> uh during the uh, these workshops we also had one more uh, i will just say one case study we also have one uh, product called standing urination device for female uh, that is uh, I, if i have it over here i'll just show you the picture of the product on the screen that may be just a, so it is again made from 100% silicon uh, yeah this is the product so this is a called standing urination device uh, for female so when as you said right when we are we were approaching the police uh, and doing this workshop they absolutely appreciated the why why police also a lot of people asked why only police and why you started with police so again this thing idea which came into our mind was uh, during the pandemic like we everyone know that we all were uh, sitting at home and uh, and we are safe at home but where in the police was on their toes for the two years even of the lockdown or one year of the lockdown where not looking at any kind of a safety or whatever but they were on the roads now coming to the point of police they always been working for the citizens the female police have faced the maximum problems during their uh, menstruation problems during their menstruation or during using the dirty toilets available wherever they are available so maximum time what we have seen is uh, we when we spoke with police they said uh, bandobast hamesha chalu rehta hai hamara this is what they are for the safety of the citizen so during traveling time or wherever they are been posted a female police always uh, experience the dirty toilets which creates again a lot of uh, diseases so this was the product which we actually showed them that this is a standing urination device which has lot of benefits as a return you can see in the screen it's antimicrobial it's odor free stain free and and female does not have to sit on a on a on a, a sit while doing while uh, using the toilet so they can stand up like uh, like a man and pee so this was a product which was been highly appreciated by mumbai police uh, and they were been asked us we were been asked to do a teach them also explain them about this product and share the product free to them which will help them a lot so along with the menstrual cup this is one thing uh, with this product these both the products we had given to mumbai police which was highly appreciated the benefits i can say it is very highlighting benefits for this product as i have shared that they don't need to sit on a dirty toilets and for the menstrual cup as a practice we have always seen that uh, normally even in our house the females would not prefer to go out in a rainy season uh, during the menstruation or they keep themselves away while changing the pads and stuff or even if there's a dirty toilet there is a lot of issues so the usage of the cup is a completely different which we explain them in the whole uh, our workshop it has a capacity to hold more uh, than as compared with the pads so again the changing time also is long 
they can do every different type of an activity where we have already shared in our presentation and we teach that by using a cup even a female can swim in the sea which is 100% not possible during the menstruation by using any disposable product so when i say the extreme of course it is understood that the female are able to travel they do need to run the exercise or do anything these helps a lot of people and these were the benefit which were appreciated highly by mumbai police super so how do you see you know you have been constantly trying to innovate on this product uh, now that covid is over how do you see things you know shaping up uh, i mean are you planning to keep innovating and continue with this uh, uh, no, bridging the knowledge gap uh, how, how do you see things going ahead it is not about the as you said rightly covid is gone of course yes but it is not about the covid or about the lockdown it is i said that during the lockdown we have seen the problems and this is a solution which has to be continued till every woman in india is been reached out considering the population of india of course we are i mean it has been just a small start right now so it will be uh, <clears throat> we will of course continue with lot of new innovations lot of making lot of channel partners lot of franchise modules and various other things tying up with lot of ngos tying up with lot of government department basically expanding the whole of our network doing organizing glow fresh ananda across the cities across the states and of course continuing and looking forward for a better india up, uh, in a short time so can you throw some more light on the franchise model and how have we been able to reach to other states with this okay, uh... okay. so when we started uh, i'll just try to show you this there on my this early fresh uh, ananda franchise okay see when basically we started this workshop and do it in this and we posted on social media we started getting inquiries from uh, a lot of different cities uh, other than bombay other states from north east west and south so then we thought of uh, of course uh, initially we could make our trainers to go and travel and uh, you know teach them and support them but then again we figured out there will be a certain limitation in terms of uh, reaching out the people as considering the geography of the india so we thought of uh, uh, creating this uh, as a franchise model the whole event as a franchise model where what we uh, created is uh, who can become the, this is the whole uh, franchise model been explained on my side where it's called new fresh ananda a franchise now who can become a franchise you can say that corporate trainers life coach spiritual trainers nowadays personal trainers soft skill trainers public speakers schools colleges social clubs ngos also anyone working towards the betterment or would like to work towards the betterment even a housewife sitting at home would like to work towards the betterment they can take up our franchise the cost of a franchise is actually being a uh, social cause we have just kept as rupees 5000 only and uh, again the cost of uh, this 5000 which is against which what we will provide uh, them is the complete uh, training how to conduct these workshops what should be the importance uh, how to i mean you know identify the beneficiaries how can they uh, start uh, these workshops in their area why will people benefit so basically there is lot of training training material involved the cost of that is what is just what we are taking from a franchisee that is just rupees 5000 now again we have explained on the right side is benefiting why if you become a franchisee what is the benefit you are getting as a woman as a franchiser so helping women you are creating basically you are helping every woman to create better menstrual hygiene you are also helping the uh, nature from the sanitary waste you are sharing the knowledge with other about the better health you feel satisfied while you do such uh, a good cause and stuff and we very much understand the bottom line is again coming to the earning part of it if you are just doing the social cause that is absolutely fine you get a very good satisfaction but at the end of the day there has to be some small earning what you would expect being taking the franchise so in that what we do is we provide you with uh, lots of uh, menstrual eco friendly products at huge discounted price which you can sell among your network you can sell during the franchise uh, works during i mean during these workshops 
to the beneficiaries and you can earn out of this because uh, the products will be priced at uh, the market standards and you will receive the products from us as a highly discounted price being our franchisee so this is very much in brief the whole franchisee model what has been explained on their our site where we have uh, on our site is also we have a lot of uh, documents available where if anyone wants to know more in detail what is the benefit of the process how can you get the license of the event or what are the types of beneficiary now we have also made it self explanatory on our site with all the pdf files where if you are now become already become a franchisee and you would like to now organize an event so there are a lot of uh, terms i can say or rules regulations we have made it standard so that what happens is which, uh, the whole workshop becomes very standardized if and if it is organized by anyone in india at any different places so making the workshop in uh, motive to get the beneficiary benefited end of the day the standardization is more necessary so we have a uh, rules and lot of standardization pdf available proposal what if you are uh, trying to approach a donor then how to create a proposal for the donor if you are creating uh, or, or calling out lot of beneficiaries how to uh, i mean you know connect with the beneficiaries and call and uh, to the the workshops so there are various things what has been uh, mentioned and written down it's self explanatory on our website and given in pdf format which you can go through and learn and create the whole event so this whole franchise model has been self explanatory with the lowest investment possible and also giving you an opportunity to earn from this uh, this is what is all about the uh, uh, live fresh mm, right, uh, as a franchise mr parekh you have uh, gone and uh, shared all your coordinates you have shared your details uh, of the franchising model so if people have to reach you through us uh, mm -hmm. they can certainly connect with you or yeah. maybe leave a con comment or something so that they can connect with you so uh, your uh, parting remarks is there anything else that you would uh, want to add Uh, on uh, today's platform uh, what is your feeling on uh, joining us today yeah just uh, it was absolutely very i mean i can say a great pleasure to join with you uh, and share all of our uh, initiatives and knowledge and uh, the support what we are trying to provide to female one uh, last uh, initiative what we are uh, trying to come up with it's called uh, other than the ananda as a franchisee uh, we are trying to come up it's called lifres uh, shaksham So this is a uh, basically a direct selling uh, platform what we are trying to create for every female to empower them across the nation again it is a quite self learning now this is focusing on learn earn and grow a female support to female in terms of better health a support to female in terms of becoming an entrepreneur a support to female in terms of getting fame in the society with our digital platforms and with our digital uh, tv channels and with our lot of uh, social media this thing so we support every female basically to um, i mean we empower them to create a better livelihood across india with again a stage wise small uh, investments very uh, work from home practices what people now love to do uh, do business among their own circle at their free time and become an so there is lot of things what we are coming up with this is the next it will be a huge uh, platform where uh, beyond uh, live fresh ananda was just a initiative of uh, supporting as a noble cause for the female on menstruation but where live fresh saksham will be a larger platform in terms of uh, uh, supporting a female for learn earn and grow together so mr parekh it was a uh... a very informative session i hope our, our viewers would benefit uh, in gaining this uh, understanding and uh, the lack of understanding of this subject specifically so we wish you good luck going ahead and uh, thank you for joining us thank you thank you very much